Okay, today we're looking at an IFD 440 coupled to an IFD 100 running on an iPad. This is the new iPad app from Avidyne that will couple with your IFD 540 or 440 and uh, connects via Wi-Fi. We started up the airplane, you get to your uh, origin airport, in this case we're in Dallas Love Field. We're going to take a enter a clearance to Flagstaff, Arizona. So let's go to the worth one departure. So I scroll down to my list. Notice I get a preview as I move down through the list. And these are alphabetical. So I'll get down here to the worth one. I double click it. It asks me for my transition, which we're going to clear to the Corona VOR. There's my entire worth one departure. has just been loaded. I didn't have to manually input all that information. Notice my panel mounted box is already loaded all that information as well. Let's keep going. We're on the Victor 264. We're going to go past all these departures. Victor 264. And we're cleared to the Winslow VOR, INW. Notice if I were to move down through the list, you'd see my preview would actually build out the airway. All, but we're going to go all the way to Winslow. So there it is. I select it. Now the entire Victor 264 that we were cleared is all those waypoints were entered. I didn't have to manually spell them all out. And again, if you come over here, all that information is being transferred back to the panel mounted unit as well. So here we are. We've got our flight plan. We're going to go on the Victor 291 to Flagstaff. There it is. Now we're there. Select it. And now we're going to go to Flagstaff Airport, which is a waypoint. And notice it automatically that with Geofield nominates Flagstaff. I don't even have to enter it. All I got to do is approve it. And my entire flight plan has now been loaded. Pretty complex. Looks like about 14 waypoints. And it took a matter of seconds. That all that information is automatically in the navigator, and we're off and going. Um, and there we go. So uh, let's see here. This is for fun. We're going to go to. We'll go direct to the cursed VOR. We can do all that navigating right on the IFD 100. So let's uh, enter that and activate. Now we're going to go direct. Uh, so this allows us, we can have the, the flight plan up on the panel mounted box and we can look at nearest airports. We can do all kinds of stuff and have the map up all the time on the IFD or vice versa. I can put the map up on the IFD 440 and come over here and uh, do a nearest search, look for nearest airports, whatever I want to do. Notice as I scroll through the list of nearest airports, they're going to highlight right on the map with the blue circles. Makes it really easy to visualize where the nearest airport is if you have an emergency. So now we're off and going. We're in the map mode. We can also switch to the uh, synthetic vision. It's an exocentric kind of an in-trail, out-the-window view, or uh, behind the airplane, and off it goes. That's built in with the new 10.2 software. You can have it on the small screen, or you can have it on the big screen. And now we're off and flying. Again, we can have one, the plan view here, and the SVS here, or vice versa. Or we can be looking at other information on this display while we're monitoring the map. Very versatile. All your data blocks can be set up. You can have a separate set of data blocks on the panel mounted box. All those are fully customizable on both sides. It's really a, a, a really exciting new feature with the Avidyne systems for your IFT 540 or 440 and for the new IFT 550. Come check them out. Give us a call at 800 Avidyne or avidyne.com. Thanks.